this is part 2 of today's session in this part you will learn about problem solving the next topic is problem solving children let us learn how to solve word problems for this let us have a recap in grade 2 and in your previous session you would have learned that when a word problem is given you need to follow certain steps the first step is to read the question carefully the second step is to find the information in it or search for keywords the third step is to decide which operation to use here operation means it's either addition or subtraction fourth step is to solve the sum the last step is to check your answer when we come across keywords we have certain keywords for addition and subtraction the keywords words for addition are in all altogether sum total if you find such keywords in the word problem you can identify the operation as addition for subtraction you can find the keywords like difference remaining balance left if you find such keywords in the word problem you can identify the operation as subtraction but children now as you move on to your higher grades you cannot expect that these keywords have to be given in the word problem or you may or may not find these keywords in such situation if you find it difficult to decide how to solve a word problem you can always get help to solve the problem with the help of bar models bar models are of three types addition models subtraction models comparison models what are bar models bar models are to draw rectangular bars like this type and put in the information which will help you to decide how to solve the word problem let us discuss in detail about this bar models in the next slide let us solve this word problem using bar models first let us identify to which type of bar model it belongs or we need to identify the operation first so we have to follow the steps what are the steps first step is to read the question let us read the question arpana has a collection of story books 25 of these were given to her by her brother she bought nine books for herself how many books were in arpana's collection we have read the question the next step is to find the keywords as i said as you go to higher classes you may or may not find the keywords in the word problem so what do you do you can read the question once more next step is to identify the operation or decide which operation it has to perform now we have used the help of bar models so to get help from, with the help of bar models we have drawn a rectangular bar this shows arpana's collection of story books out of this whole collection of story books she has 25 books which were given to her by her brother and nine were bought by herself so we will divide this rectangle in such a way that the bigger part shows 25 books which were given to her by her brother and nine books this part shows nine books which were bought by herself so we have filled in the information in this rectangular bar 
25 books were given to her by her brother and 9 books were bought for herself. So, what is the operation we have to use here to find how many books will Arpana's collection have? What do you have to do? You have to just add here. You have to use the addition. This is the operation. So, this is the addition model. Now, to add, we have arranged the numbers 25 plus 9. 5 plus 9 is 14. Write 4 and carry your up 1. Next, 1 plus 2 is 3. You have got 34. So, this is the fourth step. You have solved the sum. The fifth step is check your answer. You can check your answer in addition by counting upward. 9 plus 5 is 14. 4, 1 carried above and 1 plus 2 will give you 3. So, this is how you check your answer in addition. Next is to write the answer statement. The answer is that Arpana's collection has 34 storybooks. So, this is how we have solved our word problem with the help of the bar model. Let us solve the next word problem using bar models. First, let us identify as of to which type it is, whether it's an addition word problem, a bar model, a subtraction bar model or a comparison bar model. So for that identification, we have to read the question. There are 45 flowers in all in a bouquet. 27 of these are roses. The rest are asters. How many asters are there in the bouquet? As I've told you already that in some word problems, the keywords may or may not be given. But here you have a keyword in all. But does it look if it's in all, it's an addition word problem. But this question, when we read it again, there are 45 flowers in all in a bouquet. The total number of flowers is given. Out of that 27 of these are roses. The rest are asters. How many are asters in the bouquet? The rest, you have to find the rest of the flower. So, we cannot assume that this is an addition word problem. First, let us draw the bars. The first bar shows the total number of flowers. So, let us put the information of total number of flowers, 45, into this big bar. Now, let us put the rest of the information. Out of this 45 flowers, total flowers, total flowers, 27 are roses. So, we will divide the bar in such a way that the larger part shows the number of roses. 27 and we have to find the rest of the flowers which are asters what is the number of asters to find out that out of total number one part is given we have to find the remaining part the rest of the part that is the rest of the flowers so we can use which operation here it is subtraction we have to use subtraction and this is a subtraction bar model now, let us solve it. 5 minus 7. Before solving, we have to arrange it in a correct order. 45 minus 27. 5 minus 7. We cannot subtract a bigger number from a smaller number. So, we regroup or we borrow from 4. So, 4 tens will become 3 tens and we borrow 1 tens. 1 10 is 10 plus 5 ones will become 15 ones. Now, 15 minus 7 will give you 8. 3 minus 2 will give 1. So, the answer is 18. This gives the number of asters. 27 are roses. 18 are asters. Now, let us check our subtraction. To check our subtraction, as we saw in the beginning of this session, we use addition. So, the difference we take it and write it on on top with that we add the number which we have subtracted that is number of roses 
when we add 8 plus 7 we get 15 5 and 1 carried above 1 plus 1 is 2 and 2 plus 2 is 4 so we got the total number of flowers same 45 and here we got the total number of flowers as 45 we added the number of asters we added the number of asters asters and roses we got the total number of flowers in the bouquet so we have to write the answer statement the answer statement is that there are 80 asters in the bouquet so this is our answer which we have to take a take it and write it in the statement there are 18 asters in the bouquet children we have another word problem which we will solve with the help of bar models. First, let us identify the type to which it belongs. Let us read the question. Sushmita has two albums of stickers. Album A has 53 stickers. Album B has 41 stickers. How many more stickers are there in album A? Now, let us represent this information with the help of bars. The first bar shows the number of stickers in album A, which is a bigger bar. And it shows the number of stickers that there are 53 stickers in album A. Now, the second bar is a shorter bar than the first one, which shows the number of stickers in album B, which has the less number of stickers than album A. Now, we have to find out how many more stickers are there in album A than album B. To find out this, we have to find the difference. We have to find the difference of number of stickers in album A and the number of stickers in album B. That will give us how many more stickers are there in album A than album B. Here, we are comparing two things. When we compare two things, we will know how many more are there in one than the other or how many less are there, there in the other than the first one. So, to compare two things and to find out how many more or how many less, we use subtraction. And this is a comparison bar model. Let us subtract. 53 is the bigger number. So, we write on top and then we write 41 below that and we subtract. First, we subtract 3 minus 1, we get 2. 5 minus 4, we get 1. We got the answer as 12. So, we can say the answer in this way that there are 12 more stickers in album A. Or we can say the answer in either way too, but that is not asked in the question. But still, we can say the answer in other way that there are 12 less stickers in album B than album A. But as our question has only to find out on how many more stickers are there in album A, the answer statement is written as there are 12 more stickers in album A. With the help of these bar models, children complete exercise 3F page number 63. Complete this com exercise in your textbook. Here are some more word problems under building skills exercise 3G. Children, these types of word problems help us to build the skills of identifying whether the word problem has enough information to solve the sum or whether the word problem doesn't have enough information to solve it. To develop this skill, we have to read the question at least two times, understand it and then identify whether it has enough information. If the word problem has enough information, solve it and get the solution. Write the answer statement. If it doesn't have enough information, then just write doesn't have enough information. Let us do the first question. A carton of 200 biscuit packets has 125 packets of chocolate biscuits. The rest are jam biscuits. How many packets of jam biscuits does it have? Now, let us understand this question. A carton has 200 biscuit packets in all. Out of that, 
125 packets are chocolate biscuit. Now the rest are jam biscuits. We have to find the rest of the jam biscuits, biscuit packets, which are the jam biscuit packets. To find out the solution, to solve it, let us use the simple problem solving method. What do we have to use here? We will use the operation of subtraction here to find the rest of the biscuits. 200 minus 125. 200 is the total number of biscuit packets in the carton and 125 are the chocolate biscuits. We are going to find the number of jam biscuits. First, subtract 0 minus 5. We cannot do 0 minus 5. So, we have to borrow from the tens place. There is a 0 over here. So, we move on to the hundreds place. We borrow 100s from 200s. When we borrow 100s from 200s, it becomes 100s and we regroup it with, with the tens. It becomes 10 tens. 100s is 10 tens. And we have to regroup this again with 1s. 10 tenths will become 9 tenths and 0 ones will become 10 ones. Now we can subtract 10 minus 5 is 5, 9 minus 2 is 7 and 1 minus 1 is 0. We got the answer as 75. So this number gives the number of jam biscuit packets in the carton. Let's write the answer statement. There are 75 packets of jam biscuits in the carton. Let us do the next question. Preetam's mother baked 656 butter biscuits and some cashew biscuits for school fit. How many more butter biscuits than cashew biscuits did she bake? Let's read the question again. Preetam's mother baked 656 butter biscuits and some cashew biscuits for school fit. How many more butter biscuits than cashew biscuits did she bake? Now here when we read it twice, though we have read it twice, we could find only one number in this question. We don't have the number of cashew biscuits here. Because in the question they have asked us to find out how many more butter biscuits than cashew biscuits did she bake. But if we had a number given as the number of cashew biscuits, we could have find the solution. But here, we come to a conclusion that this question doesn't have enough information. So, we cannot solve this. We cannot proceed further. So, we just write this question doesn't have enough information. This is how we build our skills of identification. Children, complete this in your notebook. Chapter checkup, page number 65, question number 4, A, B, C. With this, we come to the end of this session. Thank you, children.